Hey, what's up guys? Frank here with another video and today I wanted to make a video to show you the template that I, that I use using Productor uh, for my print-on-demand business, okay? And so if you don't already have Productor for Amazon Merch, I highly re recommend it because Productor is basically a bunch of tools that helps you with your online Amazon Merch business and it's completely free to use, okay? There's no monthly subscription or anything. I mean, I used to use Pretty Merch before using um, Productor, but I just found out that Productor is way more complete, has more, way more feature and it's completely free, okay? And so I highly recommend it. And one of the features that you can use with Productor is basically the templates, okay? The templates when you upload your products. And so basically I use two templates using Productor and I just wanna show them to you so that if you're new into this into the software or maybe you're just figuring out, figure out ways to be more productive using your Amazon Merch business, then this video might be useful to you, okay? And so I'm currently uh, almost in the tier 20,000. And so my pricing strategy uh, is pretty simple. I just basically set the standard t-shirt to uh, $14.99 and then the and then once I've made uh, the first sale, I basically I basically set the price to $19.99. Okay, and so and so if you're a different tier than me, or maybe you have your own pricing strategy strategy, then you can change the template to your liking. Okay, but here in this video, I'm simply going to share the template that I that I use that reflects my own strategy, okay? And so let's go right in. And so basically the first thing that I do is that I set up two, uh, two screens, okay? Because it allows me to work with the uh, light template and also with the dark template. And it's basically the same thing, but the only difference is that uh, one is for light colors and the other is for dark colors. It's just that simple, okay? And so right now I just have two new Amazon listing, okay? And basically all my default prices are the same. The only thing that I change here is basically uh, this little price here to $14.99. And everything else is just the default prices, okay? And so uh, that's it for that. And so what I'm going to do right now is to set my color is you kind of need to um, put some designs so that you're able to change the color of these things. I mean, on the light color, I don't need to change these colors here, but uh, I just set a design so that I'm able to change all the colors for, especially for the um, uh, the dark colors for these uh, for these pop sockets and phone cases. Okay, so for my templates, I basically select all the products available on Amazon Merch. Okay, because more products means that you have more potential to make sales. Okay, it's quite that simple. And to be honest, you can select all the products, but in reality, most of the sales that that I make are usually the standard t-shirt okay i would say that probably like 80 to 90 percent of all the sales that i make come from the standard t-shirt okay and so that's why i only change this price and i don't really like deal with all the other prices because they're not really really relevant to me and so i just simply uh use this uh this uh standard t-shirt from the u.s market and i just change the price the moment i make a sale okay and so uh i basically have two templates and i have the light templates and the dark templates okay and so basically on the left i'm going to create my um light template because i have the dark color so i'm going to use the light template and so basically here, I'm just gonna select all the light colors for my light template. And usually you see like 
if you're new into the Amazon merch business, you kind of have to like select all of these things manually, but you see, it's really painful. You don't have to select everything manually every time that you're creating a product, okay? And so the reason why I'm creating this template is because I'm gonna avoid doing this over and over again. So by creating a template, you don't have to deal with the colors and you don't have to deal with all this clicking stuff and so you just set it once and then you no longer have to deal with it, okay? And so here I just select basically all the colors for this for this one. And for these, I only select the ether gray and the... Sometimes I also sell some of the dark ether gray too. So it's just the both of the ether grays. And then it's just you select all the light colors. All the light colors. There you go. And then here, I don't really change it because it already has the right color. And, and I try to change the scale to make it a little bit bigger and make it easier, but I don't think it, it is, I don't think it's saving the, the scale for these things. So I just stop dealing with it. And, and basically when I upload a product, I just scale it depending on the design individually. Okay. And so, you can do that if you want. And another thing that you have to keep in mind is that I do not select the youth uh, products, okay? And so basically for the standard t-shirt and also the pram t-shirt, you can select uh, the youth if you want. But from my own experience, I just decided to stop selecting the youth product for many reasons, okay? And the first reason is that most of the sale that I make comes from a standard t-shirt. Yes, standard t-shirt, but most of the sale come from men type and women type. And so I don't really sell that many t-shirts with the youth type. And so you can select it if you want, but I don't really select it. And another reason why I don't select the youth is because uh, depending on your on your design, Amazon might, might uh, reject it if they don't like your listing, okay? And so basically, if your design is about violence or drugs, alcohol or maybe it has some sexual content or anything related uh, to adult content and that, and that can be sensitive to youth they don't want uh, these design on the youth okay and so they're very very strict about that and if you don't follow these rules then uh, you will get rejection and your design will get rejected because that you selected the youth, okay? And speaking for myself, I just prefer having my my account safe. And so since they don't make that many sales for me, I just keep it uh, unselected because I prefer my account to be safe and I just prefer to uh, avoid rejection. But if you feel confident to select the youth, then you can do it. But you just have to make sure that your designs and your descriptions, you don't have anything related to alcohol, drinking, drugs, or violence, or anything related to this sort of stuff, okay? Because Amazon is very, very strict about it, okay? But if you feel confident about it, you can do it. But from my own experience, I just think it's not worth it. And so I just prefer not to deal with it, okay? So right now I'm just, I just created my light template here, okay? And basically I'm just gonna save it uh, in a few minutes. I'm just gonna create this one here. And so basically right now I'm creating my dark template for my white design. As you can see, I just have a, a basic, this is basically my just my logo, but I just put this design just so that uh, I have some sort of design to create a template. But I'm just selecting the dark colors and you see the idea is that right now I'm selecting them, but I don't, I no longer have to select them in the future. Okay. You just select them once and then you no longer have to deal with it. Okay. And so here, the reason I put a design here to create my template is that if I remove the design, okay, as you can see, um, I think you, you don't have access to the colors, okay? And so the reason I put a design here 
on my templates is because if I don't put a template, if I don't put a design here, I'm not able to change the colors for these things. Okay, I don't know if you saw the difference, but that's why I put a, a simple design for my to create a template. But if you have to upload a design, then it's all it's all good, right? So right now I'm just selecting the dark colors, and as you can see, I just selected all the colors. And so there you go, my colors currently are fine. So now I'm just gonna make sure that I select all the products on both of my uh, templates. And then my pricing strategy is that I simply put uh, the standard t-shirt for the US market to $14.99. And then the moment it makes one sale, I simply raise it to $19.99. And I just personally think that uh, Fifteen dollars and twenty dollars are pretty, pretty uh, good prices and good milestones for T-shirts. And so it's just my pricing strategy. But you know, anything related to pricing, you said you can set everything to your own liking. Okay. And so basically, everything else is just a default prices. Everything else, I don't touch it. Everything else is just Amazon merch setting its own prices. Okay. I, I don't touch anything else. I just touch this price i just change this price and that's it okay and so now i changed the colors i changed my little pricing here and i selected all the colors and now the last thing that you can do is that you can uh, put a title for your template okay and so here uh you can select the translation or not but productor is not saving it so Every time that you upload, you might need to uh, check on check this thing. Uh, for my for myself, I use the uh, automatic translation because it's easier for me. But then uh, to set the title for your template, you just basically set uh, your title in the design title. Okay, and so in my, in this example, I'm gonna put example light because this is the light template. And here I'm going to set example uh, dark, okay? But you can, this is just an example because I'm making this YouTube video, but you can set the, the title that you want that will reflect your pricing strategy or whatever, okay? And so there you go. So now once you're done doing that, you basically save as productor draft i'm gonna do both of them and what what it's doing right now is basically saving the draft it's saving all the information and so uh, once you come back later on to upload a product then it's, everything's going to be out of label and so, okay and so now it's done so now i'm just going to refresh both of the pages and as you can see like the template is now here okay and so both of them are now here and now they're ready to use. And so, so now we can simply like, uh, I'm just gonna just test it out, right? So now, as you can see, this is all the basic uh, default things, but now I'm just gonna test it out, okay? So now I'm going to put the dark design on the left and now the white design on the left. And now I'm gonna select the light template that I just created. Okay, and now I'm going to select the dark template that I just created for this design. And now what I select is basically, I select the click to apply selected draft without text and images because the text is different for every design. And so I don't really apply the text. And for the image, the image is always different. So I don't, I don't really deal with the image as well. Okay, so now I'm just going to select the light, the light here. And then the dark here, and then it's doing, it's simply going to do all, all, all of its thing, okay? And so, and so everything that you did before, all the colors that you selected before, you no longer have to select them because now Productor is doing everything like automatically, okay? And so I, that's that's a one of, that's one of the reasons why Productor is so powerful and that you should use it because this tool is free and it's really really cool. Okay, and so now you see the light template is done, and it basically selected all the light colors just like I did, and it also 
set my price, it set all my colors, and it selected all of the products. And there you go, right? There you go. Now I usually translate here. And it's the same thing for the dark template. It basically put all the dark colors and it put my my prices, my price that I wanted here. And it selected all of the products and just you know, with this template, you're able to upload way more effectively to Amazon Merch and, and it's just a great tool to have, okay? And so, again, I use this, this template for my own pricing strategy and right now I'm currently in the tier 10,000, but I'm about to reach the tier 20,000. But you can use these templates or you can edit them to your own liking to reflect your own pricing strategy, okay? And so I hope that this video was helpful and let me know if you have any questions, okay? Peace.